This is Hannibal here from the Hannibal TV dot com with a daily wrestling news update smackdown was down this week only did a 0.52 rating or last week rather rampage did a 0.09 rating by the way it's being reported by numerous news sources once this new aew collision saturday night show begins Rampage is going to pretty much turn into what AEW Dark and Elevation was, uh, which was their YouTube show. So you can expect lots of indie talent on there as Piper comes to say hi. Ricky Steamboat says he was offered a role at AEW, but turned it down. Chris Jericho, who was recently in Las Vegas with his band Fozzie at the Hard Rock Cafe on Sunday night, said on Monday morning, security at Mandalay Bay assaulted him. He, he said, quote, hey, Mandalay Bay, it's unacceptable that you tried to bully me and assault me when all I wanted was my bags that I left at the concierge. Your security staff ignored me for 30 minutes when I made some noise. Physically, you physically and mentally assaulted me laughed in my face and i want restitution now end quote kevin hart says he's never uh, says the rock is never going to do the impulsive show by the way howdy first instinct my ds pancake piper she got stepped on when um she was being watched over the weekend since i was busy with the show by golden retriever and she has a hurt leg. Apparently, this is real. Apparently, this was real. This assault. So, there you go. He's complaining publicly about it. Uh, maybe they probably have the security tapes. Mandalay Bay. It's, it's surprising that uh, if this was such a big incident that nobody would have filmed that with cell phones because it's Chris Jericho at Mandalay Bay, a very popular hotel and event center in Las Vegas. Did I ever meet Randy Savage? No. However, I was friends with his brother Lanny at one point, And I saw Randy Savage live many times, many, many, many times. The very first event I ever saw was Brutus Beefcake against Randy Savage in the main event. Saw him wrestle Jake the Snake live twice. Saw him wrestle Crush live. Actually, his match against Crush in Hull, Quebec, there was only, I would say, less than 1,500 people at that show, and I believe that was in March of 93, one of the WWE's low periods. Uh, I, I've seen him wrestle Ric Flair live where a fan actually jumped the guardrails and attacked Kurt Henning, who was managing Ric Flair in the match. So a lot, Randy Savage was my favorite wrestler when I first started watching wrestling. Mandalay Bay, site of the 2017 shooting. I recall that. I have been to Mandalay Bay before, and I've been to the McDonald's that's in the area where you can see the Mandalay Bay from the front of the McDonald's. So on that note, by the way, great North wrestling tickets for the July 15th event. Smith balls Ontario are already on sale now at ticketweb.ca. Well, Jake, I don't know about that, but there was a great positive response to the GNW event last weekend in Ottawa that, the matches from that event are going to start being posted this week right here on the Hannibal TV. And next next event, July 15th in Smith Falls, Ontario. And I understand the Blood Hunter might have its very, his most toughest opponent ever um, at, at this event, that a lot of people would be shocked by this opponent. Not that, not that James Storm wasn't tough. That was a very tough match for him. Tom, uh, did I work out today? Yes, not only did I work out, uh, but I ran. Tom, I didn't watch the Backlash pay-per-view. 
wasn't interested in it and it was the same night as the great north wrestling event i didn't feel like watching it post could i interview timothy flowers um that seems like more of a jack kilby interview uh he's more interested i was i'm a fan of stampede wrestling since i started in that territory and the montreal territory because that's what covered this area and I've heard, but other than that, I'm not really that interested um, in Canadian wrestling history from BC. Ever see the altercation with Jericho and the fan? No, I have not. I, w I was just talking to Billy Jack Haynes last night for the person asking me about that. He's doing well. Watch the start. If you want to know about Jericho and Piper, you guys. There you go. No gimmicks guy. That's Jack Kilby's name on there. He, he, he's a fan of Tim flowers. I, I only remember him as a WWE jobber, so I wouldn't be the best guy to do that. But I think, I think Jack Kilby grew up in the, in the area of, of BC. Was Jay the snake on steroids in the eighties? I think he said that he was at one point. So did the honky tonk man. But it's hard to believe that, that Jake was. Anyways, guys, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. We crossed the uh, 348,000 subscriber mark. Let me just double check that. Um, yeah, so get us help get us to the 350,000 subscriber mark. We're very, very close. And I really want to get there. Is it Big Cass that I'm facing? He's in AEW now. Big Cass is an AEW. I don't think, uh, well, you know what? You never know. You never say never about anything, but I think Big Cass probably has a big contract in AEW because I heard even Parker Boudreaux is making almost 200000 and he's doing almost nothing in that company. And, uh, and WWE fired him. Numerous cool interviews coming up. This month for Jack Kilby. I know Henry Godwin is one of them off the top of my head. So have a great night, guys. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates.